going on everybody it's portal back with another madden all 20 video guys and today we got part two of all the madden 22 player ratings now as you guys know the first half was pretty long this is a long list of players i mean like i said i think there's like 100 here give or take i mean could, could be like 80 i don't know i know we have like 50 left at least though and i did about half now yes guys i did mess up some names last time i, I warned you that was gonna happen i mean if you're a fan of the team or you maybe you know you're really some people are really good with jersey numbers if you're one of those guys that's cool and obviously you know your you know your stuff but i'm gonna mess up a few i'm gonna get i'm gonna get the majority i'd say i get about 80 percent 90 percent right but like the defensive tackles and like your favorite team i may get wrong or like for instance when there was like linville joseph and daniel hunter i kind of knew he was bigger but at the same time i said i said daniel hunter but anyways subscribe turn on that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and let me get continue this part two of the ratings we got julio jones number 11 for the falcons of course he's going through the titans now um i believe he's also changing his number so that'd be pretty cool as well um maybe six i forgot which one it was anyways julio jones where would he land so typically julio jones would probably be i would say in the in 95 98 range he's just that good of a receiver but he how he was hurt a bit last year so i'm gonna put him down to 94 90 uh 90 he was hurt a bit he's obviously getting he's getting a little bit older still just as good but i imagine they're gonna factor that into his rating alvin kamara 94 to 90 i still believe he should be in the upper echelon of running backs but i feel like they never give him that rating that he should be having in terms of madden travis kelsey that's going to be a 95 98 for me he's definitely probably going to be the highest rated tight end of madden or at least tied for the highest rating but you know travis kelsey definitely the best tight end in the league or at least i guess a tied for it aaron kendricks um i want to put him in the 89 to 85 range probably low 85 uh usually he's like an x-factor player but usually like low high 85 89 right there joe joe kittle george kittle george kittle i'm putting him in the 94 i think it'll be like a 94 overall to start the year like i said probably second best 10 in the league if not tied for first cooper cup probably going to be in the 85 to 89 range he's a pretty good wide receiver They'll probably give him superstar again um you know he's he's like their do-it-all receiver not too much athleticism lamar jackson 94 range for sure that's where he was last year i don't he's not going up in my opinion and i don't think he's going down too much either 23 we have marshawn Lattimore. marshawn Lattimore. Probably when 89 to 85 as well. Usually gets a high 80 um, cornerback, you know, player rating. 54. I'm going to go with Devin White there. Devin White's probably going to end up being a low 90. I think he's actually taken up a little bit because he was one of the best linebackers in the league last year. Played a big role in the Bucks Super Bowl run. Tyler Lockett, probably going to be 85 to 89, prob more than likely. Khalil Mack, probably 90 to 94. Give or take a little bit. Patrick Mahomes will be in the 99 club, no doubt in my mind. Um, that's a simple one. Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger, 90 to 94 as well. Probably like a 94. Gonna put him towards the top. 58 on the. Oh no, sorry, it's Broncos. That's Von Miller. Von Miller gonna probably be 90 to 94. Probably like a 90 flat. Joe Mixon, 85 to 89, more than likely. Probably gonna be a high 80. Kyler Murray, I think, takes it up to a high 80, 88, like 88, 89 overall. Like I said last year, he was a 77, and I believe he'll probably he'll probably start this year at like a high 80. Um, one more good year away from maybe even joining like the high 90 club if he has a great year. Adu Neal, 22 for the Falcons. Probably going to be, in my opinion, 85 to 89 overall as well. Next, we have, I believe that's 91 for the Jaguars. Josh Allen, 89 to 85 overall. He's had him rated pretty decently in the past. I do, I do figure he'll probably have a high 80, low 80 type overall. Uh, Antonio Brown, I think he'll probably be in the 85 to 80 range as well. Antonio Brown, great player, but I don't think they're going to give him that high overall. Okay, so a few of these just reset. I don't know why, so we may be repeating just a few, but otherwise we're pretty good here. So Joe Burrow, I think Joe Burrow ends up with an 80 to 85 overall. Not going to get a Super Bowl overall coming off the injury. Chris Carson, 85 to 89 more than likely. We have Demario Davis, 85 to 89. Kenyon Drake, 80 to 85 if at best. We have Ed Oliver, I think it'll be an 85 to 89. Evan Ingram, probably an 80 to 85. Zach, uh, Zach Ertz, 80 to 85. 39 for the Steelers which I believe is Minka Fitzpatrick. Minka Fitzpatrick more than likely will be probably a low 90. Uh, Trey Flowers, 85 to 80. Geno Atkins, 85 to 80. Linville Joseph, 89 to 85. Rob Gronkowski, I think probably an 85 to 89. He had a pretty good season. Todd Gurley, gonna be a low 80 at best. Um, oh my God. Dante Hightower, 85 to 89. Austin Hooper, 80 to 85. I think we're caught up there now. Paul Adams. Will probably be a 1994, maybe actually even 95 to 98. I'm gonna give him the 95 to 98. Um, I'm gonna give him the boost up there. Next, we have, I believe, Melvin Ingram. 
I'm gonna give him an 80 to 85. Next we have Joey Bosa. I mean Nick Bosa, sorry. Nick Bosa will have a low 90 to 94. Odell Beckham. See, this thing, I don't know where he's going to fall. I'm going to give him the 1994 range. I, he could be an 89, though. It's very possible. Uh, Greg Olson probably doesn't even get an 80, if, if anything. Patrick Peterson, probably going to be an 80, 80 to 85. Remember, he's on the Vikings now. I think he might get knocked down a little bit. So, like an 85 overall, probably towards the top tier here. Dak Prescott, I think, ends up with an 85 to 89. Um, Jalen Ramsey has to probably have a 98 to 95, more than like somewhere in the mid tier up here. Aaron Rodgers, 95 as well, 95 to 98. We have 58, which I'm not sure. That might be Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett probably ends up in the 89 to 85 range. Um, Richard Sherman, probably 94 to 90. We have Harrison Smith, 94 to... No, I'm going to give him like an 89. Matt Stafford probably gets an 89 to 85. Tua Tagovailoa, 85 to 80. Uh, Adam Thielen, 85 to 89. Michael Thomas, uh, 94 to 90. He might come down a little bit. Didn't have the best season with the whole quarterback mishaps last year. 54, I believe that's Shaq Thompson, maybe. He'll probably be at 85 to 80. TJ Watt. He's going to be a 94 90. Actually, no, he, might, he might actually take the 95 98 range. I'm not, I'm not going him up. We have, let's see, let's see. We have uh, Tredavious White going to be a 90 94. Then we have 53 on the Patriots. Why is it like a picture taken out of Madden? This is looking like a real guy. I'm trying to knock him down. It looks like a Madden picture. Leighton Van Der Esch, probably going to be an 85 to 80. Probably in the higher range, though. Vita Vey, 89 to 85 for sure. Bobby Wagner, going to probably be a 94 90, give or take. He could even be a little bit higher, but it remains to be seen. Darren Waller, probably going to be a high 94. Deshaun Watson, if nothing goes wrong and he doesn't get suspended or arrested for whatever reason and we're sued, I don't even know. If, if none of that happens, uh, Deshaun Watson is going to be a 94 ish range, 90 94. Carson Wentz, going to be an 85 overall, more than likely. Russell Wilson, going to fall probably in the 95 to 98 range as well. Um, next we have, ooh, I know this guy, the Darius Smith, uh, 89 to 85, Drew Brees isn't in the game, I don't know who that is, I'm pretty sure that's a picture of a player in Madden, and these are three rookies, I'm not even going to guess right now who those are, but guys, that's about it for the video, the 85 to 80 range was a lot lower than I expected, I mean, it could be a mistake on my part, but I think for the most part, I did get most of the players they should be, I guess, a few of them will probably come down, but again, the, the person who made this list did kind of give most of the players that are like top players so it's very unlikely that you're gonna like not many top players are low 80 85 80 85 are like the darius williams it's like those it's like those role players that are really they're like pretty good in real life but they're not like superstars or like they're not main players in the team and for the majority like, like antonio brown kirk cousins gino adkins fournette like they're good players but they're not the superstar on their team at this point they're still in the point in their career and that's kind of what 80 to 85 usually is or like those really young guys like Kyler Murray. We were like, you know, when Kyler Murray was a rookie. We didn't really get many of those guys. But thank you for watching, guys. That's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you guys want to see another tier maker, comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.